Jackie Audrey, good warning to you both. If tonight's festivities does include alcohol, Matt says deciding how you're going to get home before you start drinking is the safest way to avoid a life changing incident. Now, Stephen Barrett, Matt's regional executive director, says New Year's Eve is always a higher risk time period and told me in 2021 there have been historically high numbers of traffic fatalities in some parts of the country. Burt says enjoying the holiday safely all comes down to being sober and buckled up on the roads. He says there's never been an easier time to get home safely with rideshare apps on your smartphone. And if you're hosting a party tonight, Burt says there are ways you can help keep everyone safe as well. Make sure that you've got non-alcoholic options for your guests. If someone's planning to be a designated driver, make sure they've got something for them. Pay attention to who's at your party and what shape they're in and how they're leaving. Uh, if you've got to hide the keys, hide the keys. If you have to call an Uber, do that. And Burt says there will be more first responders out on the road tonight. He says if you see them, make sure you thank them for keeping you and your loved ones safe over this holiday weekend. Live this morning in Winston-Salem, Rachel Ellis, WXII 12 News.